today I wanted to give you some tips on items that you need or should have that I highly recommend that you have in order to start decorating cookies with royal icing. So whether you're considering it just as a hobby or as a little side job or just a full on business, I highly recommend that you pick up these items to begin your journey. If you stick around to the end, I'll show you some of these items in use. So for starters, of course, you're going to need ingredients to make your cookies and your icing, which you can find in the video that I'm going to tag above, but there's a million different no spread sugar cookie recipes out there that you can purchase or that you can just find online for free. Same goes for royal icing. I do definitely recommend that you go with a recipe that requires meringue powder instead of egg whites just for food safety purposes. So that's the first thing that you're gonna need. All your ingredients for your cookies and for your icing. You're just gonna need some small mixing bowls and some cute little spatulas. So you're gonna find out pretty quickly that the most I don't want to say difficult, but the most important and probably tedious part of cookie decorating with royal icing is finding the right consistency in your royal icing. So that is what these little guys are for. You're going to be doing a lot of hand stirring and mixing with your royal icing. And that is where our next item comes into play, which is just a fun little spray bottle. This came off Amazon, as did these. These little bowls I picked up at Walmart for like 50 cents a piece. I'm sure they don't have them anymore because I think it was just like a clearance sale, but you can get small bowls anywhere. I like the plastic because I'm prone to dropping things and breaking them. So I'm on to plastic. And these have been awesome. The reason that you're gonna use a spray bottle instead of like a measuring cup or a spoon or anything like that is because royal icing is so finicky. And if you overshoot the amount of water you put in it by even a tiny bit, then your whole, the whole consistency is thrown off. This just helps you to put really small amounts of water into your icing to get the most desired consistency. You're going to need gel food coloring not liquid but like actual gel i recommend americolor food gel this is a really this is the biggest bottle you can get and most of my colors are not this big i usually get the little ones but for white i'm always using a ton so i'll tag below a link to get the americolor as you can see i'm really messy like oh, there's all kinds of food colors on this but this kind's awesome uh, very vibrant and does not change the consistency of your icing at all. Another one of my favorite food coloring options is the Sugar Arts Master Elite Collection. This is orange. You need a tiny amount of these. I didn't start using these until a couple months ago. There are things I like about it. It's very vibrant colors and you don't need a ton usually to get those vibrant colors and it doesn't change the consistency at all. These are a little bit on, price, on the pricey side and they're a little bit messy, but if you get one of these little tools to kind of scoop out what you need and you just make sure that you have parchment paper down, it's not that big a deal, but I do like these also. The next thing that you're gonna wanna make sure you have when you start decorating for your flood and for your details are scrap tools. Now this is a fan peach mason one that I got off the website on Etsy just because They also have them on Amazon, just like this. They come in packages of, I don't know, five, ten, something like that, and they're not very expensive. That's what you're gonna need to spread out your icing. I'm sure you've seen it in my videos of cookie decorating before. It's a lot better to use than a spoon or something like that. The next thing that I would recommend you have are your icing. Well, okay, you're gonna have to have icing bags. I don't just recommend it like you have to have. I recommend the Borderlands Bakery bags. I've tried a lot of different icing bags from Wilton to just like cheap Amazon brands to Cookie Countess and the Borderlands Bakery brand has been my favorite for sure. They, I like the texture, like it has, it's not like shiny, it's more rough. I feel like I hold on to it better, it doesn't, it's not slippery. And these are the tipless kind, which means that you do not need a tip to go in it. If when I say icing tip, I'm referring to this, like a tip that you could put in your icing bag and those are used mostly for florals and fancy designs and things like that. If you're only gonna use tips for your stiff icing consistency, or that's what I do. Some people do like to use tips for just flooding and outlining and all of that stuff. This is just a normal like circle tip. But I prefer tipless, I think it's so much easier. It's less washing. So all you do is fill up your icing in the bag and then just kind of tip off. The last thing I recommend you have 
for sure like a must have is cello bags come off of Amazon or, or a bunch of different websites. It doesn't have to be Amazon. It's just gonna be a bag that you put your cookies in. I personally bag and heat seal all of my cookies. This is the heat sealer that I have. It also came off Amazon. There are ones that you can get that cut off, like they have a blade that go across and they cut off the excess of the bag, but I haven't been able to find one like that with the blade in stock. So I'm just sticking with these for now and then I'll usually just hang cut off the excess or sometimes I just leave it because I don't think it's a big deal. One other thing that I do feel is important to have are edible, edible markers. These are the Americolor Gourmet Writers and I don't know that I've ever had any of these go dry on me yet. I recommend the Tweets Cookie Connection Pins. They have a super fine tip. They're really good for if you're going to be doing any kind of writing on your cookie or if you're going to outline characters or anything like that. This is the way to go. So that's for all the items that are definite necessities whenever you want to start decorating cookies. Those are the items that I for sure think that you need to have. In the comments, you'll find links to most of these items where you can purchase them. At some point, I will do a video on royal icing consistency. There's a lot of videos already out there that talk about this, but it's something that I wouldn't mind hitting on myself. It's something that I'm still figuring out. Like, there's little tricks and things that you learn along the way. I've been doing this for a year and a half now, almost two years, and I'm still learning things as I go. But these are definitely some important tips that were shared with me that should be shared with anyone that is beginning with this hobby. If you guys have any questions about getting started with decorating cookies, I'm always happy to answer. I think that it has been such a therapeutic addition to my life. It's a hobby that I really, really enjoy. And I recommend it to anyone that is looking for something to keep their hands busy. Hope you enjoy seeing all these products in use. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching, guys.
video and don't forget to like this video. Thanks guys!